Have you ever looked at a wall, maybe outside of a school or on the side of a building or underneath a freeway and thought to yourself, how boring, where's all the color? Well, it's the job of one type of artist called a muralist to transform an ordinary wall into an extraordinary piece of art. Let's take a look at a book about a girl named Mira and a muralist who helped her change her neighborhood. Maybe Something Beautiful, How Art Transformed a Neighborhood, written by Isabel Campoy and Teresa Howell, illustrated by Rafael Lopez. In the heart of a gray city, there lived a girl who loved to doodle, draw, color, and paint. Every time she saw a blank piece of paper, Mira thought to herself, hmm, maybe. And because of this, her room was filled with color and her heart was filled with joy. On her way to school one day, Mira gave a round apple to Mr. Henry, the owner of the shop down the street. She gave a flower to Miss Lopez, the lady with sparkling eyes. She gave a songbird to Mr. Sachs and a red heart to the policeman who walked up and down the streets. On her way home, Mira taped a glowing sun onto the wall hiding in the shadows. Her city was less gray, but not much. The next day, Mira saw a man with a pocket full of paintbrushes. He gazed at the wall. He looked at her son. He held his fingers up in a square and peered through them. Hmm, he said thoughtfully. What do you see? Mira asked. Maybe something beautiful, the man replied. Then, just like that, he dipped a brush in the paint. Bam! Pow! The shadows scurried away. Sky blue cut through the gloom. The man's laughter was like a rainbow spreading across the sky. Who are you? Mira asked. I am an artist, he said. A muralist. I paint walls. I'm an artist too, she told him. He handed Mira a brush. Then, come on! Mira dipped it in the loudest color she saw. Yowee! The wall lit up like sunshine. As the man drew pictures on the bricks, Mira added color, punch, and pizzazz. Soon, Mr. Sachs joined in. Then, others came. Everyone painted to the rhythm. Salsa, merengue, bebop. Even Mira's mama painted and danced the cha-cha-cha. The whole neighborhood became a giant block party until the policeman walked up. Excuse me, he said. The music stopped. Mira put her paintbrush down. They were surely in trouble. The officer cleared his throat, <clears> throat> then paused. May I paint with you? He asked. So Mira handed him a paintbrush and the music started again. Teachers and papas jumped in, babies too. Mira and the man handed out brush after brush. 
Color spread throughout the streets. So did joy. Wherever Mira and the man went, art followed like the string of a kite. After they colored the walls, they painted utility boxes and benches. They decorated sidewalks with poetry and shine, and everyone danced. Together, they created something more beautiful than they had ever imagined. When their clothes were splattered with a million colors, everyone sat down to rest, except the muralist. His eyes sparkled. You, my friends, are all artists, he told them. The world is your canvas. He smiled wide, then pulled everything together in big, sweeping motions. His paintbrush was like a magic wand. When he was finished, Mira added one more bird, way up in the sky. Maybe, she thought, just maybe. What a wonderful story. I just loved how Mira and the muralist brought the community together to transform their neighborhood into something more joyful and bright. Now, let's take a look at some muralists from around the city of Chicago who have taken our ordinary walls and transformed them into pieces of art. Magnificent job, Chicago artists! Now, we must remember that muralists always get permission before they begin painting on any walls or buildings. I don't have a wall to paint, but I do have this newspaper. I'm going to change this gray newspaper into a city that I can transform with color. For this project, you'll need a piece of paper, some newspaper, scissors and a glue stick, and some materials to color with. To begin, you'll use your scissors and newspaper to cut out different shaped rectangles that will serve as the buildings for your neighborhood. On a large piece of paper, arrange your rectangular newspaper strips side by side so that they look like a city. Glue them down so that they stay in place Using dark colored crayons, colored pencils, or markers, color in squares and rectangles to act as your building's windows and doors. Now it's time to transform this dull gray city into a colorful masterpiece that Mira and the muralist would be proud of. my newspaper neighborhood transformed into a beautiful mural masterpiece. Inspired by the book, Maybe Something Beautiful about Mira and the Muralist. Until next time, happy art making everyone.